Hello everyone, Mike127 here, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of the Wild. I am pretty high up right now, I'm back to the Woodland Tower, and I am just going to go from here, float down. As you can see, Death Mountain's getting pretty close, so should be getting there in this episode, like really getting there. Um, I know there's like a more proper entrance to it off to the east, but I'm just going to go this way. I'm just going to climb. I mean, I'm already up here. I know kind of the game might intend for you to go to Lost Woods now, now that you unlock the Woodland Tower. It's, I mean, it's right next to Lost Woods. But, um, I don't plan on going in there until we're halfway through the Divine Beast. So, I want there to be two down, two to go before I go into Lost Woods. So, pretty much, I mean, the rest of this, you know, the next 10, 20 episodes, we're going to be in Death Mountain. Until we beat that divine beast. Just gonna have to get used to it. And that's about all I can say. Gonna have to get used to the heat. And oh man, is there a lot of heat. Um, that's gonna be really the first thing I'm gonna have to learn to overcome. Is the extreme heat of Death Mountain. Um, as you would imagine, um, a uh, an outfit is gonna really help us overcome the heat there. So that's the main thing we need to kind of figure out how to get. I'm trying to remember exactly how it's done. I don't think you just buy it. Like the heat resistant outfit. And actually, I should correct myself. It's not heat resistant. It's fire resistant. See, there's two different um like heat type of elements in this game there's fire and then there's heat it's really weird but um like in the desert you have like heat to deal with and then here there's like extreme heat that you know what's called like fire i guess where it's so hot that it's just like you need really special armor for <laughs> But for a little while, we're just going to have to deal with it. And I don't know what else to do about it right now. Heat resistance isn't going to help you here. Like, if, do I have anything that gives me heat resistance? Any food? I don't. Well, if I did, it wouldn't help me. Like, if, if it had the sun symbol... Oh, and then there we go. This frozen bird drumstick um, it gives me one minute of heat resistance. But anyway, it gives me heat resistance. Well, that wouldn't help me here. It would help me in the desert, but it wouldn't help me here. There's two different things. It's kind of confusing. There's fire resistance and heat resistance. So what we need here is fire resistance when we get up to it. I should probably go ahead and put this on. Uh, we want climbing gear. Probably be wearing that for quite a bit when I'm not wearing heat resistant armor here. I mean, for now, what we're gonna have to do is find anything we can to, like to eat to give us heat resistance. And I can't think of any food that does that. I think it's strictly elixirs that give you heat resistance. It's about to hit pretty soon. You're gonna see like the flash on the screen, like a red flash. Right about. I mean, I'm gonna have to deal with it for a little bit. Hold on. Are you a person or a. No, you're. Oh, yeah, that's right. These things. I don't want to use a bomber on it. Just normal arrow. It's fine. These things seem to only show up in Death Mountain. These big birds. I think I've mentioned it before. Yeah, um. This is the best kind of poultry, is the raw whole bird. Um, that is the uh, equivalent to the gourmet meat that you find uh, quite a bit actually in the cold regions with all the moose and stuff up there. So that's really the only place I ever find those large birds that give you the whole birds, that, you know, that the whole bird meat. Um, surprise is not getting hot yet. It should flash up any second now. We're right next to that shit, man. That we're right next to it. No, not yet. 
What's down here? I see some rocks. Might indicate a Korok, I don't know. Or another red herring. Ooh, is this a hot spring? Or just regular water? What is that? It's just interesting how there's a small puddle down here. It makes me wonder if there's something in there. It's little things like that that you see in this game that you just can't help but wonder about. A small puddle in the middle of a volcano. What you will find here is you will find hot springs. And what hot springs do, if I haven't... I don't think I've encountered one yet. What hot springs do is they uh, heal you when you get inside of them. Ah, damn. Oh, well, whatever. Those things can be a little bit frantic the way they run around. That's just regular thigh. Yeah, the thigh is the middle level for poultry. So you won't always get the, the uh, whole bird. Boy, I'm getting nervous. I'm just... I can't remember exactly how I would handle all this heat early on. I don't remember it from my last playthrough. So I'm just kind of going with it right now. Um, what I do want to do is... You know what? I, just, just because something's telling me that these rocks and that puddle of water go together. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to push one of these rocks down to that puddle of water. I'm not going to use any stasis or anything. Because look at that. It's a straight, like, it's a straight path down to it. So that's got to do something. Yeah. Good call. Good call. I'm, I'm happy about that. That almost makes up for that Korok that I, I couldn't figure out with that stupid block puzzle two episodes back that didn't make any sense. Oop. Ooh, okay, I got to keep an eye out. I, in fact, it might not be a bad idea. If I'm... You know what? Yeah. Stealth armor would be nice to have here, actually. It makes sense. Because what I'm going to be needing to catch a lot of are fireproof lizards. I, I do remember that. That um, there's an NPC somewhere up here that if you bring him a certain amount of fireproof lizards, he'll give you a fire elixir. And actually, I don't know why I can't just cook those. No! No, no, no. I think if you give him the fireproof lizards, he gives you the armor, right? I think that's it. Because otherwise, you know, like, why would he give you a fireproof elixir when you just take the fireproof lizards over to a cooking pot, cook them, and then make... That should make you fireproof what? elixirs there. Oh, there it is. Okay, right there. So, yeah, there's a certain point where that turns on. So, I kind of want to stick to the mountains here. Really, I do want to find, like, the entrance. Oh, shit. Also, you want to be careful about having wooden um, equipment on when you're up here. I should be fine with what I'm using. I have metal on right now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to find that entrance. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I got to find... There's kind of like a... A, a natural entrance to Dead Mountain that isn't all fiery and nasty, so I'm going to try to stay kind of on the edge of the nasty fire part. But yeah, I might be wearing this stealth armor for a while because I'm going to need to catch a lot of these fireproof lizards if I'm going to survive out here. Oh, hello. Do I have anything icy? Here we go. Sneak up on this guy. In fact, I almost might be wasting this if I sneak up, sneaking up on him. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and I'm not gonna use my royal claymore on him. See, this is the fire of the folks, so I can kill him in one shot with anything with ice, ice arrows, my frost spear. Which is the only thing I got right now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do more. No, you, this stupid. Here. That kind of worked out. Here, get, kill that. Ugh. The stupid skeleton woke his ass up. That is so aggravating. I'm gonna keep using this. Well, I was gonna throw it. Let's see, actually. Does it come back? Oh, look at that. It does come back. I don't know what I was talking about. I kind of want that spear. 
So let's get rid of something. Um, we'll just keep getting rid of these really weak one-handed weapons, I guess. I do have a a uh, f flame rod that I probably don't need. I mean, I'm, I'm in a fire region. There's no reason why I should need a flame rod. So I'll probably just drop that anyway. Or a fire rod, you know, whatever. There's access to fire here. Let's just say that. I don't need a fire rod here. Thank you. Though I will say, I do remember, you know what, I might keep that. Just because I remember needing a fire rod for a side quest. Now I think I remember it. It's it's this Hatino Village side quest. Where there's a kid in Hatino Village that wants certain weapons. And one of them is a fire rod. And I remember, I just remember my last playthrough searching all over the place in this, it, it, you know, searching all over in Death Mountain and um, trying to find fire res robes to kill for their fire rods. And I couldn't find one. Because I guess I killed all of them, I don't know. I see them quite a bit around here. So because of that, I might just hold on to that, I don't know. Probably won't, though. I mean, really, I, I left some fire wrist robes alive by the woodland tower, so if I ever remember, I can go back there. So I might just say screw it with the fire rod that I have and drop it whenever I find a new weapon. But for now, we'll hold on to it. So yeah, pretty much what I'm going to be doing here is just staying on the outside of the mountain, staying as close as I can that, you know, I... Don't like this is where I want to get to right here. And I want to get too far away from the mountain, but I want to get to. Yeah, this is pretty much where I want to get. Is where all this water is. This is where I'm gonna be finding all those fireproof lizards. And I might. This might be something I do off screen. It really is. Probably something I'm gonna do off screen. Because I think I'm gonna make a few elixirs with them, and then I think I need 15 total to take to a guy. Excuse the blood moon there. Uh, anyway, uh, what I want to do is collect enough to take to the NPC that I know about that wants some. Um, I think he needs 10 or 15 fireproof lizards to give you the armor. At least I hope it's the armor. I'm going to be really pissed if it's not. <laughs> but, um... I, I think picking up about 20 of those would be good. Because then I can make fireproof elixirs. And actually, you know what? I can make fireproof elixirs maybe with the fire key swings, too. That should work as well. I think there's a stable that I should probably go out and find that's right outside of here. So I'm going to seek out the stable. Just ignore all these enemies for now run out this way. Um, see, uh, the map isn't going to help. I don't have it filled out. There is a tower. Right there is a tower, but it's too hot for it, I think. I don't think I can go up there safely. So I want to at least get a fireproof elixir or two in my inventory before I go for the tower. It's pretty much my plan here is to collect fireproof lizards, uh, make some elixirs. I want to um, secure a stable close by that I can cook at. So I might be warping to that stable pretty often if I find it. I know there is one right outside of this mountain. So I'm going to be... Ooh, look at that. A random ass shrine. Why not? That will help, I guess. That will give me a warp point. So, we'll do it. How much time do I got? I got about... Oh, I got plenty of time. I got a good 15, maybe... Or maybe less than 15 minutes, but something like that left. Passing the flame. Oh, well, this could actually be good. <laughs> a use of my fire rod. Uh, let's just light shit up. I'm just gonna all burn all these vines and see what happens. There we go. Got a path right there.
boy, I don't, I don't even know where to begin with this shrine. This, this is a very non-linear one. There's all sorts of stuff to do here. Oh, I know this is going to give me a key. I remember this shrine now. Yeah. We have a locked door here. Burning these vines should drop a key on the floor. And then you use magnesis to pull the key through the bars. Now, why do you want to unlock that door? I don't quite remember. Oh, I couldn't quite get it. Let's try that again. Should just be able to get through the bars. If not, I think you can go over? Yeah, okay, that's better. You just go over, and then you get it. Ken, I wish that you had small keys in the Divine Beast. It'd make them feel more like dungeons. Just throwing that out there. Because I, I still like that aspect of it. It just feels like Zelda, collecting keys and stuff. I know, it's a convention, and people are like, oh, you, you need to get away from the conventions. But fuck, I, I don't know. There's just something about it. That just, it just feels like something's missing without the small keys. Okay, the... Oh, why did that not burn? There we go. We're just going to be a pyromaniac here and burn everything, because why the hell not? I have a I have a fire rod that I'm probably going to get rid of anyway. Oh, cool! The I didn't know that. So, what happened there, in case you didn't see that, the the fire burned the, the chest. It was a wooden chest, and you can burn the chest to, and get, and then whatever's inside will just pop up. Not that that really saves you any trouble. I mean, all you have to do is just hit the A button to open the chest, but it's still kind of cool that that happens. Alright, I want to really cover up everything, so I want to make sure I didn't miss anything in here. There's a whole path this way, so I'm like, what's over here? A torch? Is that really it? Just a torch. Okay. Just a torch. Oh, well, I guess if you didn't have anything else to light all the vines up, there there you go. I'd be curious about, like, what else I can get from lighting these things. I just want to be a pyromaniac. I can't help it. Did that drop anything? No? Okay. Let's just keep going. Uh, okay. Don't have to burn everything. Just forget it. Really, that's all I have to do is just burn these blocks here. That key wasn't even necessary to finishing a shrine. It just got me to a ruby, which is fine. That's all there was to it. That was actually pretty easy. Okay, cool. That's it for this one. That should actually get us up to four, too, shouldn't it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, do your thing. I want to skip all this. That will get us up to... Four spirit orbs. Cool. That's going to go towards the stamina wheel, I'm pretty sure. I think the last time I did it, I got a heart container. Alright. So, we are just going to keep heading out this direction. Um, yeah, my main goal right now is to find a stable. That's really what I want to do, is find that stable that I know is right outside of here. Like, with Death Mountain, like they, they have kind of like a natural entrance. I think I mentioned that before, that there's like a natural entrance to it. It almost feels like there's a gate to it. Oop, 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 oop. See, I can just walk up to it. That's why I'm, I'm going to just keep wearing the stealth armor. With all this... Uh, fireproof with all the fireproof lizards that I need I'm just gonna continue to wear the stealth armor because you can just walk up to it that was awesome that I was able to walk up to that one Let's switch something else I don't want to shoot my fire rod accidentally uh, this ain't this is gonna take me too far away yeah I'm getting too far away from things now I don't know if this is really where I want to go let's see yeah, no, I want to continue going, I don't know. Now I'm kind of guessing, which is not good. I don't want to be guessing. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. There it is right there. Cool. How about that? I'm glad I didn't go in that direction then. Suck with the instincts. I, and I guess the entrance I'm talking about is right next to the stable, so you'll see what I mean. Oh, shit. Well, I might as well do it. It's right here. Is it going to be easy? Let's see. Red. Red. Uh, I 
can't tell what's in there. I'm going to go ahead and get my Freenic bow out and shoot these things down. I'm not going to be as stealthy here. I'll kind of like, yeah, I wish I had my game pad. Is that good enough? Thank you. Boom. Did that kill them all? Um, no, I definitely didn't. There's some up there. I'm sure there's some black bacalbins in there then, if that's the case. Now I'm going to do some stealth. I got them, you know, they, they know something's up. Oh, wow, yeah, they took that pretty well, actually. I wonder if there's more to blow up in there. I'll go ahead and just take these out, too. Uh, it takes... Wow, that Frank bow's pretty weak. It's 10 power. Yeah, so much for the stealth, I guess. Oh, no. We'll, we'll, we'll sneak up on them, maybe. If they come out. No, they won't come out. I wonder what happens if I just, like... Kind of, like, crouch my way in there. Let me get a strong weapon, just in case. What I'm going to do if they see me is I'm going to start spinning it and going wild on them. Let's see. I'm going to get a little bit close. Nah, that's not going to work. Okay. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Eat, eat. They hurt bad. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to get some, uh, not too many yellow hearts. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get some better armor on for this. Not that, not the snow pants. Let's see, yeah, the highly intense, my best bet as far as defense goes. Okay, now suddenly I'm freaking out. Let's just do one hit of weapons. I'm gonna have more speed. I was gonna start spinning some heavy stuff around. Get away from that, that's dangerous. Oh, that didn't hurt that much, actually. I thought that was gonna take me, I thought that was gonna take me all the way down to like three hearts or something, or almost kill me, you know? Keep moving back, keep moving back, keep moving back. I think the one that you're locked on one on is the only one you can actually do like a perfect dodge with. So here, hold on. I want to get it on this guy if I can. Ooh, man. <laughs> They're knocking me around. I wouldn't mind doing that spin attack myself. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's do what those guys are doing. Here. Let's get far away. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's it's just I can't do this. Charge up on this. Get the crouching needs. I almost want to like disable it. Like, if there's any way you can just disable crouching, that'd be lovely. I cannot stop crouching. My kryptonite is crouching. It really is. Good lord. Well. At least I'm doing pretty good damage to him. Taking him out pretty qu fairly quickly. Just gotta wait till they get tired. Just keep jumping back and then run at them. I try to do like a the more like natural spin attacks where you spin around your joystick. I mean that that is still active in this game. That is still you know it's something that's pretty common in all the Zelda games where you spin around the control stick, hit your attack button. And, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. You know, you don't always have to just hold down the attack button to charge your spirit attack. You can also spin around your stick and, you know, that 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 whole thing. That's standard fill, fair with three Zelda games. Okay, I got a little bit roughed up there. It wasn't as fun as I would have liked it to be. Where am I at time? I'm getting up there. I should be able to reach a stable by the end of the episode. Let's see what kind of treasures I got. I'm sure I'm going to try to get some of the arrows and stuff, too, from the archers. So I don't want to leave without that. A knight's bow. That's nice. I don't know if I can use it. Let's see. We'll drop uh, this. Ooh. Quick shot. Do I want that? I'm almost tempted to keep that. I might keep that. I, I really want to see what the quick shots are. I guess, I mean... I don't know. I never really have realized or, or like, noticed the quick shot at all. I mean, I'm assuming when you hit... When you, you know, pull your bow out and shoot, you know, you don't have to wait to pull your string back, if you know what I mean. 
so um you know what let's just let's just shoot one arrow with it. I, I I'd like to know. I guess it charges up faster, I think that's what what it's supposed to be. And now I can't find the arrow that I shot, so I wasted an arrow, but that's cool. Alright, um boy, I lost what direction I was going in, which is great. Yeah, I should have marked it where the stable was. Shit. I'm pretty sure I'm heading the right way. I hope. Yeah, no, I see it. Okay, cool. Just keep heading this way. Um, at least we had a little bit of action in this episode. Oh, we had a shrine, too. So this has been a pretty productive one, I think. I ought to be able to move a little bit faster. I could use some of my hasty elixirs if I'm getting really impatient. But I'll be alright. I can do this. I'll just, sometimes I'm just going to use this if I'm getting impatient. I want to cover ground a lot faster. That's really what I'm going to be using that more for. Is to cover ground faster. Because it can get boring at times. Okay, these might not be bad pickup. I think it just gives you heat resistance. But just in case. They might be fire resistant. I don't know. Again, I don't think any food it gives you fire resistance. I think it's just elixirs. There is some ores down there. Is there any good ore? Or just the crappy kind? Just well, I don't know. Let's check it out. It is just the crappy kind. And all I got was one amber and a couple flint. That's all I got from that. So that was worth my time. Not. Ooh, an ice roof rope right next to a stable? That's interesting. Actually, there should be a shrine here, too. Um, well, how about this? Let's enter, the, let's enter the shrine that should be right next to this. If not, I won't mess with it. Try to avoid that ice roof rope. For now, I should keep him in mind, though, because I'd like to have an ice rod. That would come in handy big time. Against all the fire enemies up there. And dead. Uh, whatever. I suck. Okay, there's a shrine. So, I'm going to go ahead and enter this. And we'll call it an episode. And uh, next time we'll be going into the um, stable. Doing whatever we need to do there. And then we'll go back into Death Mountain, I guess. So next time on Breath of the Wild, we will do Metal Makes a Path. So, uh, that looks like a lot of fun, I'm sure. We will have some fun next time on Breath of the Wild. Goodbye.